Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the gas test that you need to know for your chemistry paper 2. So the first gas I'm going to test is some hydrogen and I'm just generating some hydrogen with magnesium in with hydrochloric acid. From a previous topic you should know that a metal and an acid makes a salt and hydrogen. If you need a quick reminder I'll put a link up to a previous video now. So to test for hydrogen gas you need a lit splint and you get a squeaky pop. So in this gas jar I've got some pure oxygen. So the test for oxygen this time is to get a splint and blow it out. So now we've got a glowing splint and if we put it in oxygen it relights the glowing splint. So the next gas I'm going to test for is carbon dioxide and I'm going to use this liquid called lime water. So I'm going to pour out some lime water and put some into a boiling tube and then I'm going to generate some carbon dioxide gas to show you what colour this goes with carbon dioxide gas. Now to generate the carbon dioxide I'm going to use an acid and a carbonate. Now we should know from previous topics that an acid and a carbonate makes a salt and water and carbon dioxide. If you need a quick reminder about that, I'll put a link up here now to a previous video. So I've got my hydrochloric acid. The carbonate I'm using is calcium carbonate. And I've got a delivery tube coming from the flask and the delivery tube is going into this tube of lime water. So when I start to put the calcium carbonate in, we will start to see bubbles of carbon dioxide gas coming through the lime water. There it goes. And over time, what we should see is the lime water starts to go cloudy or milky. So in an exam, your two marks, one mark would be saying to test for carbon dioxide, use lime water. And the second mark is for saying it should go cloudy or milky. Both of those words are acceptable. And we can start to see it going now. And we'll come back to that in a minute to see that it's gone a little bit more milky. So now we can see the lime water has clearly gone milky with the carbon dioxide passing through it. So in the last gas test, I'm going to test for chlorine gas, which I've generated by doing electrolysis on a solution of sodium chloride. If you've forgotten how to work out the products of electrolysis, check out my previous video, which I'll put a link up to now. So to test for chlorine gas, we use blue litmus paper. And the first thing we do with the blue litmus paper is make it damp by putting it in some water or running it under the tap. And when we put it in the mouth of the open test tube that's got chlorine gas in, what we find is that the chlorine gas bleaches the blue litmus paper. So we can see this half has lost its colour. So make sure you know all four gas tests. If you found the video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.